Hi, I'm Ross from Earth Landscapes, and today I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks on how best to cut your lawn. So you've got to always make sure you're wearing decent shoes before you cut the grass. Don't pay any attention to my laces. I've heard of too many accidents where people have uh, gone and tried to cut the grass with their, without shoes on and have lost toes. So it's a good idea to make sure you, you keep your shoes on. We're getting to that stage of lockdown where most people's lawns are looking a little bit out of hand. As you can see, this is a little bit long at the moment. This is Berea Shade, which it, it tends to need to be cut slightly higher than most other grasses. But depending on the grass that you have, there's quite a few different varieties of grasses. Uh, the finest grass, which is Sinodin, uh, normally needs to be cut at about 20 to 30 mils in height. It can actually be cut down to six or seven millimeters, uh, and it's what's sometimes used on golf greens. So before we begin, the most important thing is to look at the safety of your, of your machine. This is an electric mower, uh, so it's not a very complicated machine. Um, it's got a grass box, which um, the, as, as the blades spin, they, uh, the way the blades are set up, they'll, they'll send the grass clippings into the grass box, which every few minutes you've got to then just take and, and empty out. Um, so you're just going to make sure that everything is all working fine. Uh, best thing to do is to start without um, having it plugged in, just to make sure that everything is, is alright. So just check that the grass box is working alright. What you want to do is open it up. And you can see this, is, this hasn't been cleaned since, um, since it was last used. So you can see the, the grass clippings that are uh, on here. But ideally what you should be doing is cleaning this. This, this can cause rust uh, and it also can spread seeds. So if, if you are cutting an area where there are weeds, you can spread the seeds. The seeds actually get stuck into your, uh, the underneath, under the undercarriage of your, of your machine. And then they will then be spread to the, the other area that you're, the next area that you're cutting. But you just want to make sure that there's nothing, there's nothing that's caught in your blade. Make sure that the blade is in good condition. It's nice and tight. There's no movement uh, on it. Sometimes, if the if the actual shaft, if there's something wrong with the shaft, you might have a little bit of movement um, on the actual blade. Um, but yeah, so this is all good apart from apart from the dirt. Put the grass box back on. And let's uh, switch it on. So the first thing before you get started is just to make sure, just look through the lawn, just make sure that there's no, um, there's nothing in the lawn that might get uh, hit by the blade. No stones or bones. So the first thing you, you need to do is to uh, set your mowing height. Uh, the mowing height is adjusted on the side here, so as you can see, it, it goes right down. That would be, that would be, uh, that's its lowest setting. That would be way too short for this grass. For Berea, I would normally start in your highest setting, and probably with most grasses, you want to start on your highest setting and just have a quick run through and just see whether that, whether that works. So let's just give it a go. can see that's pretty that is actually probably the right height for, for this barrier it's probably about five six centimeters 50 60 moles um, so I think we're gonna run through it like that what I what I generally like to do is to run um, Run along the, the edges of the grass first, then start with the middle. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so, so that's the edges done. And the reason why we do the edges first is 
it gives you a nice border to turn the, the lawnmower around on. But also you don't want to go too close to the edges of your of your lawn because as the wheel drops into the, the flower bed, if it's slightly lower, you'll end up scalping that little section of the of the grass. So the next stage is to start cutting your uh, the, the inside portion of the grass. Um, what I often like to do is, is to change it up. So if previously I've cut in this direction, then the next time around I'll cut this, this way. Another thing is to also start the lawnmower off the grass. Sometimes if you start the lawnmower in the middle of the grass and it's very long, especially with these electric mowers, they, the engine isn't strong enough to start uh, spinning. So it's always a good idea to start it off the grass. As you do your each uh, each strip, you want to do about a 30% uh, overlap so that you don't miss any spots. Otherwise, what ends up happening is as you cut, you have these little sections where the grass is slightly longer because you've missed uh, you've missed spots. Another thing you want to be thinking about is what ha what you're doing with the with the cable at all times. You don't want to be riding over the cable. Obviously, it's uh, electrocution hazard as well as it's just going to chop up your cable. Um, so always make sure you've got it on the one side. You keep it on that side. Obviously, this has got a grass uh, box on it, so it pulls up a lot of the grass clippings. But what you can do. There would be normally be a lot of grass clippings left over on the on the on the grass, so you rake that all up, and then by doing that, you actually rake up some of the grass, and it starts to stand up again. So sometimes, if you're a perfectionist, you could go back and and cut those those uh, longer bits again. Um, and if you're going to do that, then go in the opposite direction to what you. What you uh, the edges haven't been cut, and uh, I mean we could we could take a chance and go with the with the with the lawnmower over those areas which I may just do but um, if you don't have a brush cutter you would just use your uh, hedge hedge clippers. So what do you know I don't have my, my hedge clippers with me. Uh, they're obviously at the depot and I can't get hold of them because we're in the middle of lockdown. But this definitely needs to be cut otherwise I'm gonna have a nice nice smooth uh, lawn and then the edges will be super long by the end of lockdown. So I'm going to uh, go along the edge and try and cut it without scalping the lawn. Let's see how successful I am. So, so that's, uh, that's pretty much done. I'll show you the edges uh, where I have scalped the, the, the lawn. So in general you can see the lawn looks, looks nice. Um, it's still nice and green. But you can see here, this is where I have gone close to the edge and I've scalped the the lawn you can actually see here's my um, where the tire went in but but look at how white the, the, the you're actually seeing the, the the foliage that's that's died off at, underneath the the grass so th that's why you wouldn't want to do what I've just done uh, and 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 cut along the edge you'd actually rather use hedge clippers or a brush cutter to do those edges. So I just thought I'd show you the advantage of a mowing edge. A mowing edge is anything like a like a brick or a or a concrete or a um, uh, this, in this case it's cobblestone that I've just used to run around the edge of the the grass. The advantage of this is it keeps um, plants from spreading into your lawn and it keeps your lawn from spreading into your into your garden beds. So you can see there's some things here actually there's a few weeds but you can see some of these plants might have a tendency to grow right across. Now at least you've got a border where you know where to cut and, and your beds always stay neat and tidy. The other advantage is as you're cutting, you can actually run your wheel on this uh, cobblestone edge, uh, which also helps prevent scalping as, as you saw on, on, on the other lawn.
what you would then do is then, now that the grass has been cut, the edges have been cut, you can either cut this with a, with a spade and just go along the edge. Uh, ordinary secateurs could do the job, but um, you just cut the grass back. You can then also make sure that anything like that, that's, that's as long enough it would actually start to put its roots down um, into the soil and then you might have that plant spreading uh, into, the, into the soil. But that'll get me through the next week or two. Um, so I hope that helps.